so this guy bought this computer off of eBay and he said he tried to turn it on and nothing happened. Well, the way he brought this computer in was with this just flopping around in here like this. So, more than likely, there's damage. And we're about to find that out. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna do a full checkup on this. Um, we're gonna hopefully get it running. This is a 3050. And if I can get it working, we're gonna reinstall Windows and then transfer his files from his old computer. The guy also bought, oof, it just feels so crunchy trying to plug this in. Why can't I get this to go in? There we go. So the other thing he bought was this. Like, what? Like, I know you can't, you can't see what I'm seeing, but this is printed off of someone's printer. As is all of this, like someone made a copy. And then this is just a, a uh, one of those inkjet printer decals on there. I said, how much did you pay for that? He said, not a lot. Which my response was, yeah. Because they don't sell this. Like, you can't just go buy a, a CD version of this software. And he just looked at me like I just told him the sun was blue. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. All right, that's locked back in there. Let's get this plugged in. We're just going to do just a straight up. We're going to send it. Let's see what happens here. Yep, single eight pin PCI connector, which is fine. That's that, that's that. Right, we got power there. And this thing is dusty. Got power button. Great. All right, we should have we should have power right now. There we go. All right, we got CPU, we got DRAM, we got VGA. We got boot. It booted. Yeah, and it booted with someone else's information. All right, we're gonna rebuild this. That's, that's all there is to it. This thing, like, I know you can't see it. It's actually quite disgusting. We're gonna pull all the cabling. We're gonna get everything set up correctly. And then we're gonna go from there. It's not a new build. It's gonna be a like new build. All right, let's get this done. We got an hour to go through everything on this computer, get it switch situated, sorted and go from there. Well, they're not doing the board repair. Just bought another computer. All right. Unplug all this stuff. Jeez, look at, look at this, the things you find. This is clearly damaged in shipping. But they're both held on there with a single screw. It's like a little toy.
All right. Now, and all that done. This is like an ultimate challenge here. Figure out what's actually going where. And grab my blunt tweezers here. It's funny, we have all these cables that are back here and like all they're doing is they're going through the cable management port here from, from this. They go from here back to the front. Some of these fans aren't even plugged in. And here we go. Everything is nasty. All right, we got two fans fronts. Let's unplug this random connector just there. It's like they're kind of cable managed, but not. We have cables going over each other. Like I know right now this isn't very exciting, but I think it will be. I really needed to get a before of this. Let's get a before. All right, kind of starting over now. We get this in here. Hey, look how much cleaner it already looks. On the front anyways. We are going to start our cable management and rebuild journey down here with a zip tie. And we're gonna use to tighten up all of these cables. We have condensed it. Okay, now we look at the back. This is, this is what this all leads into, is this. We're gonna get this power cord out of here. Power supply is not attached. I don't know what these screws are, but they're not power supply screws. And what's sad is this person that I'm doing this for is never gonna appreciate this. All he cared about was getting it up and running. He didn't care about how it looked. Yeah, more fun for me, I guess. All right, so those are now set off to the side. We got this. Let's do this. All right, we got these. Pulled off to the side. This. Fans. Fan. 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 All right. And then this is the last. This is the, this is the cable that. You can tell that at some point somebody tried and then they're just like, you know what? F it, which is sad, but here we are. More work for me. Well, that's the thing, like it was sold as working and it appears to be working. Like, and I just posted it, so. Let's. Gonna do, I'm just gonna do this. Let's do, so there we go. There's, there she goes. We're already starting to look a little bit better there. All right, now, this is, this is something that I was a little bit concerned with. I need to find places to plug these fan headers into. I do have some extensions but we have CPU optional. We have a system fan down here. 
And we have System Fan 3. System Fan, wow. So I guess this cable for the fan is going to stay up front. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the fan cable, we're going to run it underneath the fan. No, I could not. And what we're going to do is we're going to zip tie. I'm waiting for someone to respond to a team's message. You guys can see with these these uh, these lights that I use for fill are actually meant for, which is moving stuff around so I can actively see what the hell I'm doing. All right, so that gets pulled underneath there. And this goes right there. So that's a nice, that's easy peasy. So that's one. The next fan is the important thing about this is seeing what I'm doing, not illuminating my face. So this is going to have to come down here. So we're going to go underneath this bundle that I've put together. Like so. And then we're going to go to system fan three. And then this other one going to come up and just out right here and go to SysFan 2. All right, now all of the fans are plugged in. All that's left for these is, this is RGB. Okay. This is all going to come over to here. It's going to come down this way. Yeah, there we go. That works. And then we will just, we're going to tuck that there. What are you even talking about, man? I, like, I'm trying to, like, deal with, like, my, my wiring runs circles around your wire, like, my cable management, shut the hell up. Like, I'd like to see you try and make this cluster, like, you should have seen what it looked like when it came in. Do we even need this? This is a Molex connector. We don't need that. Yeah. I There's wire ties all over this thing, man. All right, so I need that there. That. Got to put another screw on the back of here. I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't even know these screws are back here. I love how Karrion came in today and shows hostility. That's in there and tight. That's in there and tight. Let's grab the next one. I see. Good to know. Oh, there's a drive bay down here. You just can't see it. Yeah, this is someone's old case, old computer that I'm trying to resurrect here. This thing was destroyed in shipping. Oh no, I have no problem with what I'm doing right now, Emily. This is, this is actually fine. Just using the tools I have in front of me. So basically what you're saying, tech, is never. So now we need PCIe power. We only need one of those. This is the CPU power. All right, yeah. Terrible run. But... That. And then, as usual, I'm just gonna put, just gonna put this in here. No cable tie. How that go out there? Like that. That's in there. I do like hummus. I'm not a huge fan of bratwurst. I'll eat it, but not my jam. So this is a Ryzen 5 1600. I don't know. I think this might be a downgrade for this guy. No, I do not like bloodwurst, whatever that is. 
It's funny. Let me see if I can... The um, thermal compound stuck to the cooler in a very specific way. You can see, you can see the Z, the Y. That's funny. I feel like something's missing here. What does this go to? I feel like I'm missing a part. Nope, found it. I do believe this is a deep cool. No, excuse me. It's an ID cooling. Whatever ID cooling is. That's nice and tight now. All right. So, we have this interesting little connector down here, which goes like that. And then. I don't think this thing has an RGB header that'll support this thing. No, nope, definitely not. No 12 volt header on this thing. So that'll get tucked in the back. That. That's not coming off of there. And then lastly, we got, yep, yeah, that's exactly it. It's, that's 100% what this is. It's cheap to get the job accomplished. That's it. It's not there to look good. Even though it has RGB on it, it just, the RGB isn't going to work because it doesn't have, this motherboard doesn't have the supported, uh, supported header. All right, last, last component going in. That goes in. Wonder if I can use. I think I'm gonna try and use this. Let's see if this does the job, or if it's just gonna. Nope, nope, that doesn't work at all. That all right. We should take some now we take some after photos. One, two, three. IODD and one Wi-Fi adapter. get those points real quick there we go there you go right there beautiful we got it there we go we got it we got it it's sad that this just doesn't light up off of the other header oh well Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you wanna learn more about my services, check out bradentonpcrepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.